2 0. It's a very well taken goal. Brilliant finish. First touch did it. My number three um, would probably be um, the goal I scored against Turkey away. Um, it was uh, sort of a 25 yarder, um, which I don't tend to score a lot of sort of long range goals. It was the first goal of um, first goal of the game, and you know I thought I think it was a, you know it was quite a difficult tie going to, going away to Turkey. We didn't really know what to expect. It was a it was a nice goal, you know, to score from there that that kind of distance. I enjoyed that one. My second favourite goal, um, and it's probably the best sort of technique of the three, would probably be the goal against Wales. Um, where I've got it, it's bounced over the defender's head and I sort of read the bounce and chested it and volleyed it into the top top roof of the net. And again, it was you know a different goal to what I typically score. And I've been working all week that week on sort of one to finishing in the box and, and hitting the ball first time. So to see that sort of recreate itself in the game was quite nice. Yeah, my favourite goal would have to be my uh, the third goal of, um, I scored to make my hat trick against Montenegro. Um, that was the sort of last, obviously last qualifying game. I remember um, having scored my second, thinking that I could really score a hat trick in this game. And um, you know, so I sort of got the ball um, sort of midway. I think Tony passed it to me, and I sort of came off the back four. There was four defenders in front of me, and I thought, just go for it. My first hat trick for England, you know, which is unbelievable feeling. Really, I can't really put it into words. I didn't celebrate as much as I thought I would have done if someone said to me I'd score a hat trick. But, but it, I was really, really pleased. I was very emotional at the time, and and of course got the match ball signed, and um, yeah, got my shirt signed as well. So that will be uh, something I cherish for a very long time.